Well, the first quarter for real estate here in Southern California has come to an end and our uh, systems and our data systems have been updated. And now we get to look at some year over year reports. I have wanted to look at this for a while, been waiting for it because February gave us some indicators and then March, in the middle of March, we started to feel some things. We started to see some movement in the market and I have been waiting to look for these stats. And so we just got them sent over to us and I wanted to bring some information to you here about Orange County so that you can understand what's happening not only in Southern California, but we know that what happens in Southern California does affect some of the other markets around us, especially when sellers are selling and leaving California and moving out of state. Uh, this is gonna impact those homeowners who are making decisions right now. So in Orange County, I looked at March of 2022, and then I looked at March of 2023, and I wanted to compare those two months just to get a snapshot, and that's what I'm gonna present here. So in March last year, in Orange County, new listings, there were 3,286 new listings, and that was down from the previous year, but it wasn't down like it is this year. This year, last month, we only took 1,844 new listings. That is a decrease of 44%. So if you're looking around and you're seeing not a lot of for sale signs, that's because we are down almost 50% on the total number of new listings hitting the market. Total active listings, which is kind of like the average daily amount uh, in Orange County last year was 2892. And this year, however, it's up to 3,112. It's an increase by 8%. Now, why are we actually seeing more active listings this year versus last year? Well, we do know that interest rates play a big deal and buyers in Orange County are being very cautious. And so we're not seeing as many transactions go into escrow because buyers are not buying at the same rate. Well, of course we have less listings, but we also have fewer buyers. And so this next statistic is important. This is the total number of pending transactions. Last year, we put 2,824 properties into escrow in the month of March in Orange County. This year, however, that number dropped to 1,060. Only 1,060 homeowners in the entire Orange County population using realtors put their house into escrow. That is a decrease of 62%. So that's where we're seeing a lot of the dramatic difference is that buyers right now simply aren't buying at the same rate as they were. Total closed transactions also down. Last year was 2645, this year 1765, a decrease of 33%. And total closed transaction sides, buyer seller, each house has a buyer and a sell side, again, down 40%. Now, how long is it gonna take you to sell your home? Not long. Now, last year it was warp speed, it was lightning speed, average days on market was six days on market. That is not a long time to list and sell your house. However, this year it's gone up by 150% but it's only 15 days. And anytime it takes 15 days to sell a house, it's still a seller's market. It has increased 150% over last year, but it's not a long time to sit there and look at your house being marketed and hoping that you get it into escrow. Why is it taking a little bit longer? Well, because the buyers are having to pay a lot more on their mortgage uh, interest and they just have to get comfortable with that. However, the total price per square foot this is the big number that most people use to calculate how much their house is worth. The total, um, the average price per square foot last year was $680 a square foot. This year in Orange County, $645. That's only a decrease of 5%. So even though sales are down 62%, even though, you know, all of the number of active listings, everything seems like it's down and in, in days on market are up, the total price per square foot is only down 5% on average. Now here's the, here's the revelation. Last year, property sold for on average, 105% of the sales price, meaning that you listed it at a million bucks, you got 5% more on average. This year, it, we are seeing that the average sales price compared to original list price is 98.9. .9. That means that sellers have become more realistic and looking at the downward trends and looking at the downward pricing and they are pricing their 
homes appropriately, hence why we are seeing properties still only sit on the market 15 days rather than longer. Now the average sales price did drop by 11%, but that takes into fluctuation all of the luxury sales all the way down to the, to the condos. And so that's not a great figure to look at when it comes to determining your home's value. But hopefully this is information that you find helpful. Average sale price per square foot down 5%. It's gonna take you 15 days on average to get your home into escrow. And we did see an acceleration of the real estate market last month um, overall in the MLS here in Southern California. We did see more buyers getting out there. We did see more buyers making uh, multiple offers on the properties that have been listed. And so right now, if you're gonna sell your home, it's not a bad time to begin to work on preparing it and we're getting it on the market. I know here at uh, Impact Properties, I have a number of listings lined up that are in process and all of them are, are priced appropriately and they're also gonna sell fairly quickly. And so we do know that this is a great time to sell. And if you're leaving California, well, you can take that equity that you still have and you can take it to move somewhere else. So that's what's going on right now in Southern California. And I hope that you find this helpful. If you would like help selling your home, uh, Impact Properties is a great uh, resource. We have agents here, uh, including myself, that can help you through that process to make sure that you get the maximum value for your home as we go through the process together. So God bless. Happy Easter. We'll talk to you soon.